Hi guys, this is Abdelli Roshan, your very own house entrepreneur. I will be talking about solution and problems that entrepreneurs face throughout my episode series. Do keep watching. Welcome friends to another episode of FAR, the entrepreneurship series. So today we are going to talk about funding. Last time we spoke about coming up with out of the box ideas. So you know, for out of the box ideas, everybody requires a money. Otherwise without the money, nothing works. So funding is the most, most important aspect of every organization that is needed by every entrepreneur. Every entrepreneur fails in some point of life, maybe only because of the money that they could not arrange for it. So practically speaking, how do you get the money or how do you get the funding? I rather say don't look at funding or don't look at ideas that require funding. Look at ideas that you can initialize on your own. Basically the point is that only if your ideas are executable without any funds, that's the time when people will come towards you to give you funds. You will not have to go towards them. I will give you a very simple example. People today uh, mistake in startups to get funding, but they don't know what are startups. Startups are not any companies that start up new or you know that today I started a business and it's a startup so I will get funding or I will get angel investors, I'll get bank loans. It does not work that way. The whole point behind the whole thing is that you need to have a concept like I'll give you a simple example. Uh, today in India, Uber and Ola are two organizations they are called startups because they were brought in to our country which did not exist before. OLX is a startup because it was a concept brought in that you can sell second hand things online. These are all concepts which get the funding is because it's a concept and it's not there in our country. This is what is called a startup. Not any business that starts on its own one fine day is not a startup. So what I would recommend is first make a prototype. Only after you make a prototype will you understand that how much funds do you need overall. Whether you need funds, maybe 5 lakhs, maybe 10 lakhs, maybe 50 lakhs. For how much time do you need it? What do you think would be the return of it? Because today angel investors are looking for return on investment. They are looking at at least getting a 20-30% margin, which banks do not give them on interest or on fixed deposits. So that's the type of money that you're looking at. Now imagine if you were supposed to take a 50 lakh loan from a bank or from a funding investor you would have to pay that back within a two year period or a three year period. Now that would become difficult because if you invest all that 50 lakhs into your uh, business, I don't think it would work out to give 50 lakhs back. You would have to maybe sell your property and you, you might have to mortgage your property. So I feel you should not ever take that risk of taking up a loan without any uh, strategy or without any prototype that has been made to formulate how to recover those loans. Today, Players are playing very smart in the industry. You have to be smart like them. You have to get the funding only of how much you think you can pay back. There is no point of putting everything of your life on risk and then failing. Because this is what happens with maximum entrepreneurs. They, they put everything on risk. They sell their cars off, they put their house on mortgage. They try to buy everything for their startup. And ultimately after two, three years of slogging into it, they fail. When they fail, that's the point of time when they go into a uh, maybe a suicide case or a depression attack they can never rise back in life because they have already failed so badly that they don't have the courage to take up another challenge in life so you have to be very 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 sure of what you are doing in life according to me don't rely on funds try to do something that would not require funds if it's required then be very very sure of what you're going to do this is my advice to you so friends if you have any questions regarding what we discussed in this episode, you can just leave a comment in the message below and we shall get back to you in our upcoming episodes with whatever the solution to the problem could be. Thank you so much. If you like the content of this video, please make sure you like, share and subscribe. This is Abdeli Roshan, your very own mentor, friend, guide and philosopher. We are going to talk about a lot of things during the FAR series. Do keep in touch.